week 13 of fantasy football season and here's a few defense dst units i looked out off the wire this week the first one the tampa bay buccaneers so the box i know their defense hasn't been good at all this season for the most part but this week with a good matchup versus the panthers i give up the fourth most fantasy points to dsts on the season and really can't stop anyone i think this tampa bay defense is a good streaming option available in 70 percent of fantasy leagues bryce young in this offense can't move the football chuba hubbard yes he did come off a good game versus the Tennessee Titans. But besides him and Adam Thielen, there's really not much going on in that offense over there. So I think Tampa Bay back home this week after two tough losses on the road. Could have a decent ball game and they're available in 70% of fantasy leagues. Next DST is the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars, they've been in the middle of the pack type of DST this season, but their top five in turnovers created this year. So the last few weeks, I know the numbers haven't been good. Week 11 versus Tennessee, 14 points allowed, two sacks, two fumble recoveries. And week 13 at Houston, 21 points allowed in four sacks. But this week, a good matchup versus Cincinnati Bengals. They're obviously going to have trouble scoring now without Joe Burrow out for the season. We saw it in last week's game where they really didn't do much versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, only scoring 10 points. And I think this Jaguar team could make some plays on Jake Browning, cause a few turnovers and get a few sacks. So right now, they're available in 73%. Of fantasy leagues the next dst is the los angeles Chargers. so this charger dst they've been a solid unit when it comes down to a streaming option versus a bad offense and where they got a good matchup in week 13 at the patriots i give up the third most fantasy points to dsts on the season so the last few times they were a streaming option was this charger defense they went out there and they put up numbers week eight versus the bears 13 points allowed a sack two ints and week nine at the new york jets six points allowed eight sacks, a pick six, and three fumble recoveries. So right now with a good matchup at New England, who can't move the football, Mac Jones and Bailey Zapp, it just don't really matter. I think this Charger defense could go out there and make some plays and put up good numbers available right now in 85% of fantasy leagues. The next DST is another Los Angeles team, the Los Angeles Rams, another streaming option as well. And the Rams, they were a streaming option this week, and I know it was a basic game for them, 14 points allowed them, four sacks, at the Cardinals, but week 13, a good matchup versus the Cleveland Browns, where it looks like they're gonna have to turn to PJ Walker or possibly even Joe Flacco in this game after Thompson Robinson left the game in week 12 with the injury. So, right now, Cleveland gives up the seven most fantasy points to DSTs on the season. They're coming off a tough loss to the Denver Broncos, and they're coming off Thompson Robinson out as well. And we don't know if he's gonna play. So, if it's PJ Walker, or Joe Flacco, I think this Ram defense could tee you off. And I know this Ram defense isn't what it was even two seasons ago, but versus a bad offense like that, with a quarterback like P.J. Walker or Flacco who really can't move the football. And we haven't seen Flacco all season. Their DSD as a streaming option that could put up a very surprising game in the fifth and final defense DST unit. I'd look to add off the wire this week. Here's the Atlanta Falcons to the Falcons as well. Another streaming option. And they're coming off a good game where they had a pick six in that one versus the Saints. 15 points allowed a sack in that one when the pick six and a fumble recovery. So week 13, a good matchup at the New York Jets. We know this Jet offense is one of the worst in the league. Tim Boyle, Zach Wilson, it don't really matter. And this is a Falcon defense. They got some ball hooks and get kept to the quarterback a little bit as well. And most of their games this season has been in the mid-teens to low 20s. So this week here with a good matchup. And I know they got to travel to New York which is a little tough where they play better at home is this Falcon team than they do on the road. But right now, after they came off a solid game versus the Saints offense and have a great matchup at the New York Jets, they're available in 90% of fantasy leagues. So that's a few defense DST units. I looked at it off the wire for week 13 of the fantasy football season.